Hello everybody, this is Julia from Just One More Card and today I have a very special project for you. I have invited a lot of my favorite crafters to join me on a block hop. I have reached 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm actually a little bit past 10,000 by now and I would never have thought that I could have could reach that milestone, let alone the amazing experience experiences I made along the way. Your kindness, your comments, your gifts, your cards have impressed me so much over the past three years. I thought it was time to give back to you. So today on July 26, 26 2016, I am starting this blog hop. It's also my birthday and um, I have linked in the video description below to my blog where you will find out all about the blog hop. You will find a list of participating designers. You can hop along and there are a ton of prizes to win. These are the sponsors that I have for this hop. You can see they are all huge companies. I'm so honored that they would support me. And I have listed what you can win from those companies on my blog. So hop on over after you've watched the video. For my card today, I have decided to use a wonderful um, uh, sentiment by Casual Fridays. Um, and these, these butterfly tendrils die from Simon Says Stamp, some frame dies by Pretty Pink Posh, and as I mentioned, these sentiments by Casual Fridays. The reason I'm using these sentiments is that I, I tried to change my outlook on life last year. I wanted, to, I wanted to be more kind, more understanding, more tolerant, and um, I, I have been raised to be quite competitive. And um, well, both of my parents are teachers. Uh, one of them is a language teacher, the other one is a physical education teacher who taught uh, or who coached teams who competed on the national and international stage. So by nature, I am very competitive and I wanted to be more relaxed. I wanted to be more kind, more appreciative. I wanted to be more respectful towards the people around me. Um, and that sentiment from Casual Fridays is actually summing it up quite nicely, the way that I want to approach life from now on, or the, the way that I've tried to approach life um, for the past year or so. It's not always easy because, you know, going against your nature is sometimes hard, but it makes me feel better about myself. So it says, live simply, dream big, be grateful, give love and laugh lots. And I feel that especially that being grateful for what you have and trying to live simply, not striving for the most you know extravagant thing or whatever, I think that is something that is useful to lead a happy life. Now I first stamped the sentiment onto my card base and now I'm bringing back a card panel that is the exact same size as the front of my card base and I'm stamping the sentiment again uh, because I'll be die cutting from this later on. I'm using Versafine Onyx Black Pigment Ink for stamping. It's a very rich dark ink and I'm even double stamping here with the Misty to make sure I get the best impression possible. And double stamping is quite easy with the Misty because nothing shifts. Alrighty, admiring my own stamping here. <laughs> there we are, done with that one. And now that I'm, I'm positioning my, my die here, but I'm not going to die cut just yet. What I want to do first is add some double-sided adhesive on top of this panel. This is the panel, not the card base that I'm working with right now. This is the one that I stamped second. After I decided where my die would go, I grabbed some Stick It double-sided adhesive. You peel it back, the backer sheet one on back on one side, and that uh, exposes the sticky side. And I'm trying to put this down without getting adhesive on the die. So I'm aiming, removing the die, and I'm just putting down the adhesive here and gently pulling back the backer sheet. So it sticks now to my panel and then I'm pulling back the backer sheet on the other side. So now uh, it's like you've created a sticker on your card. So you can see the reflection here, or at least I hope you can see it right here, where it like has this reflection, it's sticky there. I'm pouring some Elizabeth Crafts um, Microfine Glitter. This is the cool diamond or warm diamond. I will be listing it in the video description below. I'm pouring this on there and just making sure that I'm covering all the adhesive with the glitter. <coughs> Excuse me. 
By the way, I'm uh, recording the narrative to this video in my new apartment because my move is finally done. I'll be blogging about this later, but I'm so happy that this is done already. I'm using my finger to rub the glitter and here in the reflection, you will be able to see right here, you can see where it glows. That's where I've rubbed it. So rubbing it makes it shine even more and it sets the glitter. Setting the glitter means that it won't come off. You brush it off and then afterwards you can see I barely have any glitter on my little finger here after I rubbed it. So once you rub it, the glitter stays put. There is no mess. This is a no mess glitter. Then I used this Simon Says stamp die to die cut through that panel that I had just glittered up. And the reason um, why I'm doing this is because I want to put this on top of my carpet right here. I know, you, of course, you have to wiggle it a little bit so it matches up with all the stamping, but it's going to be a sort of hidden die cut. And I'm saying sort of because, of course, I have to add some color. I mean, seriously. I'm using my Copics here and I'm not brushing, brushing my tip over the glitter. I have ruined Copics that way. So... Um, be careful. Um, I am simply dabbing the Copic tip onto that glitter. That means I push it down and lift it back up vertically. There is no sideways movement. I'm not brushing on the glitter. It takes on the color quite nicely and of course you can also blend the color. So I'm blending, I'm actually using three um, green shades on, on this uh, die cut and I'm also going to be coloring the butterfly in separately. I'm using orange here and yellow, and you can see just how nicely I can blend this. If you feel that you might have gotten some glitter onto your tip, just um, wipe it off on some piece of scratch paper. But again, I'm not using a brush motion or a paint motion on the glitter. I'm just dabbing up and down, up and down, very straight, no brushing here. And once I had that done, I grabbed this frame die by Pretty Pink Posh and die cut a panel. I added some foam adhesive behind that die cut and now I'm using it as a frame for this wonderful sentiment. You could even create something to put up in your craft room with this beautiful sentiment. So here you have it. You could even leave it like this. If you don't want to add any, any color, you could just leave it like this and it already looks pretty amazing. Um, so I've added some foam tape behind the solid pieces here on this um, on this die cut and I put down one of the um, leaves first and now I'm wiggling around the rest of the die cut to make sure that it's uh, that the sentiment is still legible readable legible you can still read it um, and then I'm you know like wiggling around and trying to make this look nice and this is how it looks once it was done. And of course, I had to add some more sparkle to it because, you know, glitter isn't enough, obviously. So I grabbed some sequins by Pretty Pink Posh and used my tweezers and the glossy accents with the fine tip applicator from Ranger to um, put down some glue here and then add the, the sequins back in. And I'm using sparkling clear sequins, which are my all-time favorite, and then some iridescent sequins in the colors Peridot Mist and Sunshine Glow. They are exclusive to Pretty Pink Posh. Of course, Simon's Stamp, Pretty Pink Posh, and Casual Fridays are sponsors in my blog hub, as well as many other companies. Um, so I wanted to use products from all of them, but I just, I got so depressed because I couldn't come up with one card that had all of the products on them. So uh, you have seen me use the products of those other companies as well in the past. You know I love them. I asked them because I appreciate their products and you will be amazed at the prizes you can win in my blog up here. Here's another close-up just showing off the wonderful sparkle that you get from the iridescent sequence and the glitter on that die cut. And here's the entire card with the wonderful, wonderful sentiment and the sparkly goodiness. Oh, you know I love glitter. I just, I'm just a happy person when it comes to glitter. So don't forget, Block Hub going on right now. It starts July 26th and goes until July 31st, 2016. Link is in the video description below. Please hop on over and celebrate with me. I would love to see you there. Bye-bye.